Okay, you guys ready for part two, which is a baggie of items from another new to me vendor. Ooh, I'm like ripping this paper. Oh, paper. Okay. Another new to me vendor and it is Empire Alchemy. So this, I actually spoke about Empire Alchemy in I think my last Let's Chop It Up. I don't understand uh, why I thought that I had ordered from them, but I definitely did. Like I was really sure of it and then realized I never ordered from them. I, I must have like created a cart, put everything in the cart and then never checked out. First thing first, which seems to be the phrase of the day. By the way, Merry Christmas Eve, because I won't be posting tomorrow, but if I don't see you guys, obviously, <laughs> for today and tomorrow, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays if you already celebrated your holiday and or your holidays coming up. So this is Fall Vibes, and it is a sample. Very cute. I love the way this looks. It's like ombre down with some sparkle on top, and it's ooh, syrupy sweet syrupy if i had to guess it'd be uh what's it called pumpkin um but uh pumpkin pancakes maple waffle something with the pumpkin pecan waffles and leaves there it goes this is caramia apple love the name by the way <laughs> i thought that's so cute and then i got two triangles here instead of one square this is so good guys it's like slightly caramel apple but like it's the perfect amount of caramel for me because i really can't do too much caramel and there's definitely some of that macintosh apple in there so it's not just one single oil or so it smells i don't know for sure but yeah that's really good love that and this actually just arrived today uh the same day i'm, I'm filming this or no i think it arrived yesterday one of the two the rest of these items i actually did choose hand picks based off the notes and or the names so <laughs> here we have i'm going to show you the ones that kind of went hand in hand okay so i picked up the nice list and the naughty list just because i thought that was funny um meanwhile they probably won't ever be together ever again but the nice list is white woods evergreen frosted sugar cookies and there's like this thing going around where people are mixing tree with sugar cookies right I smell something in the background, but it is like heavily treed. This is what the donut looks like. I can't remember what she calls these. I don't know if I have any sort of receipt for these. No, I don't think I do. Um, if I did at some point, I definitely left it where I get my mail from. But yeah, so super cute. And then the naughty list is ice cream scoop bread, avocado and vanilla ice cream. I think avocado is uh it's ice cream over coffee it's like when people use ice cream to cream their coffee have you heard of that before um i personally have never had affogato but it's partially because i don't like drinking coffee after a certain hour and ice cream in the morning just seems like who do i think i am and again coffee in the afternoon is also like do you want to sleep at night so <laughs> i've always wanted to try affogato um i've seen it on menus before but personally, it's not a great idea for me. Maybe if I caught it at like lunchtime, maybe at the latest. But anyways, you guys, I'm not a huge fan of ice cream scoop bread, but when it has more vanilla base, I do like it. Like when people mix it with vanilla, I think this is the cutest little donut, by the way. And I do like that. And this one also doesn't scream Christmas to me. So again, there's gonna be some, like unlike the nice list, which has that evergreen base, um, there's going to be some Christmas scents that I'm just going to separate into my usual year round. So if you see them in my MDs in like the middle of June, you know why. This one's called Home for Christmas, which is hilarious because I am home for Christmas. <laughs> it's cinnamon bread, hot buttered vanilla, and celebration cake. Ooh. It's heavy on the bread for some reason. Oh, it looks like the cutest little frosted donut. I just realized that. I, am, I don't think I like bread in scents, guys. I think bread as a scent note is just too bready. Like, <laughs> it's like too realistic or something. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like that. Um, Don't dislike it, but I don't love it enough to repurchase. And I honestly think after trying several vendors, um, bread scents, that I don't think bread's on my, like, I like that list. 
The next thing I have is peppermint milk, which I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil this, is my favorite of all of them. And it is Tres Leches Cake, Peppermint Brittle, and Vanilla Crumb Donut. Everything is so good. And it's like, it's so good. This is gonna be like a huge January for me, like huge in January. I'm honestly, I might finish this in January. And currently I did look on the website, partially just out of curiosity of how large the quantities of wax come. Um, and peppermint milk is still on there and they're having a pre-order, Empire Alchemy is. So I was thinking about buying some more of the peppermint milk and a larger quantity, but come to find out, I don't think there are larger quantities except in the brittle bags and it wasn't available for the upcoming pre-order. The pre-order actually says that it'll be, I think it said it'll be shipping in the late January. And I was thinking like, that's so soon. Um, should I participate? I don't know. They had some, um, <laughs> they had some Valentine's Day wax, which honestly, I really want to get into that heavy this upcoming year. Valentine's Day wax. I think that's like the cutest idea. Can you guys hear that? That's my dog. Um, this is mint ice cream. Oh, sorry. Mint cream cocktail. It's creme anglaise, crushed candy cane, vanilla ice cream, and cotton candy. Okay. That is so weird how like cotton candy just like came in and blew it away. I hope that went on melting. Oh, okay, okay. I got a little of the vanilla ice cream on the bottom. <laughs> How cute is this though? But yeah, I got a little of that vanilla ice cream on the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that when these melt, I can smell more of the um, different items because smelling them right now, I can only get like one item in the forefront, one one scent note. This is Twisted Winter, which is my my third favorite if I had to rank them. This is Twisted Peppermint, Patchouli, Black Pepper, Toasted mar Marshmallow, and Smoldered Wood. Now this is crazy good. It is like a winter man. It's the patchouli mixed with the Smoldered Woods mixed with, I'm about to just rename all these notes. <laughs> I just realized it's like, it's so good. It smells like a guy wearing cologne who was like participating in holiday stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it is so good. And I'm like so picky about guy scents, like cologne scents, I should say. And because usually you guys know I get, I love cologne scents. They just make my head hurt. I don't know why. It's terrible. And I wish it didn't happen to me, but it does. But that smells so good. And I really think the peppermint, like, somehow brought it down and then you throw in that uh marshmallow it's so good yes like as far as repurchases that would be on a repurchase list this is frankincense and oh gold frankincense and myrrh and then I, I really wanted this scent because i thought it was so perfectly themed um it's golden amber black amber frankincense and hint of myrrh and this scent the amber really made it work out for me this is the perfect bedroom scent and honestly it's kind of year round if you if you're familiar with the scent frankincense um it's like herbal it's very herbal and to me this is just like i'm trying to think this is like melting rosemary or some some other scent uh, a lavender like any other herbal scent to, like this is year round to me so again another that will be going in the year round area so excited for that. I really, really like that scent. But that's everything, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And have a great day.